I walk. I look. I see. I stop. And I oh. photograph. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe framing more slightly to the bottom will make the bottom one look more, much more scarier. Let me try again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should increase the shadow speed to dim out the light. Try it again. <laughs> or, Molly, you know what? It would be much better if you can make a scary face for me. I'll try it again. One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> Thanks so much for cooperation. Monsters, angels, and our, our fellow human beings. Please raise your hand if you love to see a beautiful scenery, such as the cherry cherry blossoms, oh. the luxurious lavender view, oh. and the miraculous Milky Way. Oh. Please also raise your hand if you want to keep everlasting memory of your most important moments in your life. For example, the special birthday of your significant others, the exciting moment of receiving your bachelor's degree, freedom of more exams, and that fulfilling moment of achieving your competent communicator title as a Toastmaster. Thank you so much for your cooperation. You are such a wonderful audience. Please give yourself a round of applause. Today, I'd like to share with you one special form of creative art that I have fallen in love with for a long time. That is photography. Today, I'm not going to give you a lecture on how to take bad photos. Very sorry about that. But rather, I'd like to share with you why I love photography so much. David Hugh, a famous American photographer, once said, In photography, everything can be taught except how to see. Yes, indeed, nowadays there are numerous online tutorials that will teach you exactly how each step how to become a better photographer. From the rudimentary tips such as how to choose a suitable camera model for beginners or how to operate the basic operations on your gadgets to more advanced techniques such as how to adjust the aperture settings to blur the background, or how to play with the shuttle speed to draw just the right amount of light in the photos. But remember, no, mat no matter how skillful you are as a photographer, before anything can pass through your lens of the camera to form a stunning photo, it must be first captured by our eyes. Not having High-end cameras or good enough lenses is never, never, never an excuse for failing to see the beauties around you. Yes, my friend, beauties are all around you. If you take it hard to see and find out. Beauty is when I pass by these old buildings and encounter such a flourish blossom who was nodding to me, say hi. Beauty is when I walk along of the alley with fallen patterns and scroll down myself to meet this little and elegant friend on the ground. And beauty is when I was searching for love into the sky, but turn out the love is just beside me, within my reach. I really appreciate what photography has brought me. That is the heart to see and to discover the beauties in ordinary things that are all around us. Another aspect of photography that fascinates me is that every photo I've taken is the return ticket to the moment otherwise gone. The moment of bonding with fellow Toastmasters oh. that makes our friendship to last. The moment of small achievements oh. that make me strive to be the best. And the moment of bitter sweets 
just blows away my gloom, like the dust. What way? Bittersweet? You must be wondering how I can feel both sadness and pleasure. At the same time, from this place of mouth watering makes laughter together with a glass of cocktail. Let me tell you a story behind. This photo was taken on February 19th, 2015. Anyone know which day is that? Monday. <laughs> That's a good day. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Chinese New Year Eve. <laughs> <laughs> when family members are supposed to get together for the most important dinner of the year. But this year was quite different for me. While my family was in China, I was all alone in the other hemisphere, taking a summer school right on there in Sydney, Australia. On that day, I walked myself along the famous Darling Harbor in Sydney, and of course without Darling beside me. I was thinking, why not treating myself a nice day? So I picked one outdoor restaurant called Blue Fish. As I saw somehow the name matched my car move, which was sort of blue. Uh -huh. <laughs> I chose a seat that offers me the best view of the harbor. The waitress was very friendly and caring, always with his smiles. The atmosphere of the restaurant was cozy and relaxed, with light music playing in the background. I ordered a plate of lobster together with a glass of cocktail, as she recommended. I said, help this exquisite glass of cocktail. I took a sip. It tasted bitter at first, but it was the sweetness that lasted. It was bitter because I was all alone by myself in this new place at that special day. But it was also a blessing and pleasant for me to breathe the unfamiliar air, to embrace, embrace the welcome new faces, and to enjoy the adventure all by myself. Such a mixed emotion had been engraved onto the every pixel of this photo, which allowed me to record and feel as fresh. I'm sure each one of you here also has some photos that are special to you. They're special and precious because they preserve your feelings and emotions at that particular moment in your life. Dear my friend, next time when you walk back home, why not look around yourself? Take it heart to see and discover the beauties around you. And remember, take care of the camera and stop this moment, your memory. Everyone, please say cheese. Yeah. One, two, three. Alright, thanks so much. Thanks.